round of the SEC tournament projections. I was doing it for the last one, but I had a couple of hiccups that I realized in my bracket after watching a couple other bracketologies and ESPN predictions throughout the day. So I ended up ended up deciding to instead of write it down and take another 15 to 30 minutes, I could just log on to Super Celtic 24's Bracketify to to log on and and vote vote for the uh, vote for this SEC tournament coming up. This will be so. Without any further ado, we'll start the bracket up. So the first round, so the first round on Wednesday night, there will be a playing game between Georgia Bulldogs and Missouri Tigers. I think Georgia was really impressive. They may have run their money early in the season with with the with them getting a new coach, and it's been it's been quite it's been quite a journey for them. But for as far as the postseason goes, I think I think they can I think they would make a slide down. So Missouri will win. They have the experience in this game, which would be a very good matchup. Auburn has a bye. And then there's not, and then it's another blank. South Carolina will have the bye, so they'll also play on Friday, which will be they'll be a very interesting four seed to say the least. LSU will, and LSU will has also had the bye. Florida will have the bye for Wednesday's game. And Arkansas will Arkansas will also have a bye. So now we go around the 32. We got Texas A&M and Vanderbilt. And a few, a few years ago, in 2016, when both both these teams were in the NCAA tournament, this would have actually been a fun matchup more so this year. But it's not necessarily because Vanderbilt's been 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 south the last few years. They haven't made it to a tournament probably since then. More than likely, I'll go with Kevin Sullivan squad, Texas A&M. Really good coach, different good scheme of things. And we'll go with Mississippi State. Mississippi State and Tennessee both have buys. And Ole Miss will also play the winner. Winner against Al they'll also play against Alabama. So now we have Missouri playing Auburn. I don't think I I don't think this will be close. You never know. It's March Madness, but I don't I don't see Auburn losing even close to Missouri because because they beat Tennessee and they played phenomenal against them. I couldn't believe that they, they beat them. I had just turned it on a few times or whatever and I was on the road. And then I then I tell my dad, since he has money in Tennessee, I'm like, Dad, Tennessee's up five. He's like, oh, what an upset for me. And then I'm like, yep, Auburn must be very 